Here is a VPN program that promises to transform your internet experience. This is Leo from File Critic, and today we'll be taking a look at CyberCoast VPN version 5.5. Now before we start with the product review, I would like to briefly state what a VPN does. Basically, what a virtual private network or VPN is going to do is it's going to act as an intermediate medium between you and the internet. So when whatever traffic that is going through your computer, it is first going to go to the VPN and from there it's going to go to the internet. So basically, you can browse the internet through the VPN service, which means you're going to remain anonymous, your data is going to remain protected, and um, you may have some other advantages as well. Now we're going to look at some of the advanced features of CyberCoast 5.5 Premium. As you can see, we're connected to their servers and browsing the internet using uh, our VPN. And some of the advanced features that CyberCoast provides is an ad blocker, malware and virus protection, data compression, prevent online tracking, force HTTPS, and extra speed. So you get these extra features only when you pay for the premium subscription. So we're going to take a short look at their ad blocker and if it's actually able to filter out all the ads from our web pages. So as an example, we're going to use uh, YouTube here. So I'm just going to load up an incognito window. So let's just visit YouTube. Now this is my host machine and I'm not using any VPN. And as you can see, we already have an ad over here on the top. And um, well, let's just see what happens when uh, we try to load some kind of video. So let's just open this video and uh, as you can see already we're having some ads and I'm sure there'll be more maybe a pre-roll ad or something like that we should see something there you go so there's an ad and uh, now we're going to try to do the same thing on uh, the cyber ghost system now as you can see when we load up YouTube I've already done that but let's do it again there you have it no ads that's that and if we try to watch the same video we can start watching it right away I'm not seeing any ads pop up I don't think there'll be a pre-roll and there you have it we can watch the videos directly. So the ad blocking does seem to work with YouTube. Now let's try some other website. So here I have CNET loaded up. Usually you'll have an ad over here, over here. So let's see what happens with our ad blocker. As you can see, these ads don't load up. So you essentially get an ad-free version of the internet just by using CyberGhost VPN service. Now I don't see any browser extension or anything like that, so I assume that the ad blocking is implemented at their server level, which is really nice. So you don't have to bother about anything, you automatically have uh, an ad free experience on your computer. But one thing to note, because this blocks all sorts of ads, and there's no way to whitelist any particular website or, you know, something that you like or your favorite YouTube channels and help out content creators. I think that is a problem because a lot of people make their living through ad money and if you're using a service like this you're basically not supporting any of the content that you're browsing. I know ads have become a menace and um, people want to get rid of it but sometimes not entirely. A whitelist feature would be appreciated. Now let us try the malware and virus protection if it can actually block malicious websites from loading files and executables and that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to grab a couple of links from VX Vault and we'll see if it's able to deal with that. As you can see this file we're pretty much allowed to download. Let's try something else. Once again, 
both of these files are allowed. So there you go. So the malicious and um, you know malware and virus protection, I wouldn't really bank on this feature because it doesn't appear to be able to block all the malware. Maybe it's going to block a few phishing websites and things like that, but keep in mind this is not supposed to in any way replace or take over your malware protection. You still need anti-malware on your PC. This is not a substitute for that. Now data compression is useful if you're viewing content on mobile devices and you're using your uh, you know, ISP's data and uh, it, it can save you some data by compressing images and web content so your charges may be a bit lower while using the VPN. As you can see we're currently connected to Hungary and uh, they've got a 23 gigabit per second server there. So far the best part about CyberGhost is the speed. I seem to be having very little slowdown using this VPN and usually what happens when you use a VPN is your internet gets slowed down due to the extra latency but their servers are really good and um, you're pretty much going to get a very fast internet experience. These settings allow you to start it uh, during startup which is probably what you'd want if you're using it on a daily basis and you can also set it to establish the connection automatically after startup so you don't have to do anything whenever you start your computer the VPN loads up and connects so you get a seamless internet experience. You can also set it to open a browser after the connection has been established and you can use beta updates if you like. As discussed before, it does have a lot of uh, options when it comes to privacy. And if you click on show advanced settings, you can set exceptions. I think maybe we can use this to uh, prevent it from blocking ads on um, our favorite content creators or something like that. This doesn't seem like a very easy way to prevent it from blocking ads on several YouTube channels and things like that. So maybe I'd like some kind of improvements here. Maybe they could add some kind of a browser extension to help with the exceptions. Now you can choose to use a proxy if you like, and um, you can force it to use CyberGhost DNS servers, or you can use your own DNS servers. You can disable IP version 6, and you can use random port to connect, or I guess you can select your port. You can select your fragment size, and that's that. So that's my overview of CyberGhost uh, Private VPN. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and subscribe to our channel for more such awesome software reviews. And do like this video if you did. Also, don't forget to check out our written review on the website www.filecritic.com. Hope to see you there. This is Leo, signing out.